doesn't matter if you see them or not. All right. Reduction formula are designed to help you. They're designed to help you save time and maybe a little bit of effort. Reduction formulae are all about integrations and integration by parts. Okay? Now, we all know integration by parts can be quite long and quite tedious and perhaps maybe even a little boring. Reduction formula can shorten the process massively. Let me give you an example. This starred equation or formula, a formula is known as a reduction formula. Okay? It says that the integral of tan x to a power n is just this, reducing the power by 1 minus this integral, where the powers decrease by 2. So how does that help you? Well, if you repeatedly apply that, sooner or later, the powers have got to get down to pretty small um, values, and things will be really nice and simple. Okay? So you can see, in this example, you're asked to calculate tan x to the power 5. Okay, you wouldn't want to do that by parts. So what you do is you go up to the reduction formula, plug in n equals 5, and then you'll get this representation here. You can integrate this just by going up here and plugging in n equals 3. So it's kind of like an iterative process. Okay? One step's usually not enough. You need to do it a few times. Each time the, um, the uh, mathematics involved gets simpler and simpler. So it's, it's very good. I, I highly recommend reduction formulae. Now, sometimes reduction formulae are written in a nice compact way. So basically, this I sub n is some integral. And then there's a relationship with I sub n and I sub n minus 1, or I sub n minus 2, or something like that. Okay? The point here, and this is why they're called reduction formulae, is that if you have an n over here, you've got to have n minus 1 or n minus 2 or n minus 3 or something over here. It can't be greater. That's why it's called a reduction formula. Okay? Oh, yeah. 